into the heart through the use of the inferior vena, uh, superior vena cava and the inferior vena cava, which is right back here. So if it's coming through the superior vena cava, it's gonna be coming from the top part of your, like your arms um, at the top half of your body. And if it's coming from the inferior vena cava, it's gonna be coming from your legs and the bottom part of your body. So the superior vena cava and the inferior vena cava are the largest veins of the body, right? But also they're bringing back um, deoxygenated blood that um, doesn't have, so it doesn't have, it's oxygen poor and it's coming back into the heart so that it can be oxygenated again and be pumped back through the body. But, so it's coming in through here and when it comes in, it's going to re reach the right atrium. So. Is here. So you see we have our inferior, I mean superior, and we have our inferior here. And when the blood flows in, it's going to be in the right atrium. Now, the right atrium and the left atrium both have these auricles, which are here, right here and here. Okay. And what those do is when they're on there, they're going to give extra storage, um, surface area so that the atrium can hold more blood. So when there's a lot of blood in there, these are going to fill up and expand so that the pressure can build so that this valve can open. Now, when it comes from the right atrium, it's going to, and it moves, it's going to go through this valve right here called the tricuspid valve or the right atrioventricular valve. Now, how this valve works is through pressure, yes, but it relies on three things. The coordinate tendinate, the papillary muscles, and the trabeculae carnae. So the coordinate tendinate are attached, and these are like cord, like ligament cords. They're gonna to attach to the cusp of these valves and they're going to be held on by um, papillary muscles which papillary uh, re relates our um, is a fancy word medical term for nipple and nipple of this muscle the trabeculate carne so the trabeculate carne makes these projections which are the papillary muscles which then connect to the coordinate tendinate, which holds the bottom of these cusp. So when the pressure builds in here, these muscles are going to relax so that this valve can be pulled down to let all the blood go into the right ventricle. Now, when it does that, this valve is gonna snap shut. When it gets all of it out, it's gonna snap back shut so that no blood can flow back into the right atrium because if it did, we'd have a problem. We don't want it coming back. We only want it to go. So once it's in the right ventricle right here, it's gonna build up pressure again until it reaches the amount of pressure that it needs. And when that happens, <clears throat> It's going to go through another valve, and that valve is the pulmonary semilunar semi valve. Now, you can recognize this because it has three little crescent moon shapes, and that's where it gets its name, but also because this is the valve that's going to lead the blood to the pulmonary trunk, right? So this valve opens, and it lets the blood go into the pulmonary trunk here. And then the blood travels through the pulmonary arteries. Remember that the blood is still not oxygenated, okay? But 
These are pulmonary arteries, even though they're carrying deoxygenated blood, because they're taking the blood away from the heart. So anytime that blood gets taken away from the heart, it's gonna use an artery. So it uses the artery and takes it to the lungs so that the gas exchange can take place which is just like, you know, um, I don't want to get too into that, but uh, basically just like a CO2 oxygen exchange, chemical exchange, um, so that it could come, it could, the blood could pick up the oxygen and bring it back to the rest of the body. So when it's done getting its oxygen, it's now oxygen rich and it's coming into the heart again. So for it to come back into the heart, it's gonna to have to use a vein. So that's where the pulmonary veins come in. And that's where its next stop is, the pulmonary veins, which are here. So the pulmonary veins take it into the left atrium, I mean, the, yeah, left atrium. So when it reaches the left atrium, pressure is gonna build again so that it can go back through another valve called the left atrioventricular or the bicuspid valve. Same process works with this valve that works with this one as far as the muscles and everything, right? So once the blood is in here, and if you'll notice, this is the most muscular side of the heart, right? We have a really thick level of um, myocardium here not as deep here, but still some. This is because this guy needs to pump the blood all the way, like really fast, really, you know, to where it can get to the rest of the body. Whereas this guy over here is just pumping it kind of a short distance. It's just going to the lungs. So it doesn't need that much force compared to this one. So when the blood's ready to leave, the pressure is built up and it's ready to leave this side it's gonna enter in through the aortic semilunar valve. And you can see it, it's right there. It looks just like this one. There's two semilunar valves, those are the two. So once it goes into that valve, the pulmonary semilunar valve, it's going to start going into the ascending aorta. And just think, this is the, ace, this is the aorta, it's the largest artery that you can find in your body, right? But it has to, this is the part where it's like climbing up, like climbing up the hill. So this is your ascending aorta, and then you're gonna reach the arch of the aorta. When you get here, this is where you have your different um, breakoffs that um, go into your, your uh, other arteries. So, which where your blood will be sent to all over your body. So if it's going from the pulmonary trunk to your lungs, right? That's gonna be the pulmonary circulation. And then if it's going through the aortic semilunar valve and it's gonna go through the systems, to the other organs, other arterial system to go throughout your body, that's gonna be your systemic circulation. Okay.